guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well good morning guys welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog this morning i have filmed a primark haul along with an ebay haul which i've just filmed as well which had this cute little play suit in which i featured on my instagram which is just this beige little play suit i'm obsessed with this this like linen cotton material feels so expensive and okay this ebay haul is very much a budget ebay haul i will say that oh also i just wanted to show you as well what i bought um if you saw last week's weekly vlog i nipped into manchester on the saturday and i just didn't get around to showing you what i picked up so um only a couple of bits this first one being from and other stories and it is the earrings that i wear that i am obsessed with that i have them in silver so i picked them up in gold they're very minimal which you know is a style i love but i picked them up in gold because currently i am living in gold jewelry so i just wanted to pick these up they have increased in price since i bought my silver ones when i bought them i think they were six pounds they're now eight and then i also picked up from super drug I got um, just some staple standard cotton pads, but I also picked up this, which I'm excited to give it a try. I might try it with you at some point this week, um, so you can see how I apply it, how it goes on, what it's like. I got it in light brown. I think they only had three shades, like light brown, medium brown, dark brown, which is brilliant. But my eyebrows, even though I'm a natural blonde, are quite dark, as you can tell. So I figured light brown hopefully should be okay. I'm just hoping they're not too auburn, because sometimes when you get light brown, they are like more like warm toned which i prefer like ashier because that's essentially what i am like an ash blonde okay now i am off to film the try on clips and i'll see you in a bit so it's a bit later on in the evening now and i am having it is essentially just a load of vegetables tiny bit of coconut oil in there and um, that is it because i'm going to try the 5-2 diet whereby on mondays and potentially thursdays it's like a fasting, intermittent fasting diet, which I've never been on a diet before and I don't intend on ever being on a diet, but I'm just trying out the principles of this, which is essentially on a Mondays and Thursdays, reducing my calories to around about 500, essentially fasting, not consecutively, and also not drastically because I am still consuming calories, but then eating more or less what I want, and especially on the weekends, allowing to like treat myself fairly good during the week, like normal calorie content, 2000-ish for females. And then at the weekends, if we have a takeaway, we have a takeaway, which I do all that anyway, but I'm just trialing out Mondays and Thursdays, or at least Mondays and potentially Thursdays as well hence the five two just reducing my calories hence why i'm just having some veg tonight i'm not trying to lose loads of weight or anything like that i'm literally just kind of cleansing my body a little bit detoxing it from loads of sugars like because i have sugars all like every day might only be a week and then i decide it's not for me but i mean this is going to fill me up and i'm not that hungry like considering i've not really eaten much today at all Tom's working from Leeds anyway, so I'm going to go into the centre. I've brought my laptop and work stuff. I'm also going to have browse around the shops, show you guys what's in stores in a minute. And yeah, come along with me. We've got our standard booze coffee for the road. And it's a very country route, this route, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What area is this? We're going to come into Cross Hills in a minute. Cross Hills, but like all this area, is this Pendle? No. Yorkshire, is. Yorkshire. I don't know. I don't know. Tom's excited to have me on his drive to work today. Oh yeah. You suggested it. He was like, why don't you come with me and then you can go into Leeds and go shopping, which he knows I love to do.
Okay, so I've been into Urban Out, which is now in River Island. And this set is super cute. I think it's meant for beach, but I like it anyway. It's got the cute little crochet pom-poms and on the bottoms as well. What I might do is link everything below in case you are interested in picking anything up I try on from this little shopping trip. Bit different for me, pop of colour, what do you think? Ooh, it's out of my comfort zone, but it's still fairly neutral, so... I like it. I've been after a wrap dress for a while. What do you think? Love this font. <laughs> Buy a top because of its font. I've just said, oh god, I have to vlog this because we're stopping at Mackey's and this is revolutionary because Tommy Lord doesn't do McDonald's. Says he's allergic to it. No, that's KFC. Oh, is that KFC? <laughs> but um, you have Burger King at the airport when we fly. I actually prefer Burger King, but we don't have one. So Mackey's it is. Still doing Monopoly, so we might win an apple pie or a McFlurry. I win every time. <laughs> Let's see. Any sauce? Yum. Good morning, it is Friday and today I am going to start this morning trying out this Maybelline brow tattoo. So I thought I'd try it out with you guys. This is like my natural brows. I have got a bit of BB cream on which I use the Clarins one. It says it lasts up to three days. We'll see how that goes. So you put it on in desired brow shape, let dry for 20 minutes and then you peel it off. Ooh. I'm kind of scared of what it looks like up close, the brush. I think that's about done. Okay, so that is the first brow done. It's actually quite easy to put on considering usually like to get a brow shape so precise will take a lot longer. <laughs> kind of looks quite scary right now, but we shall come back in 20 minutes and see how it peels off. Okay, so <laughs> my eyebrows look so scary like this. Um, just curled my hair, kind of like finished off my makeup. By the way, if, in case you're interested, I use the Babyliss, <clears throat> these curling ones. So as you can tell, they're quite like a wide barrel, but yeah, I use that to like curl my hair and then just like kind of brush it through my fingers. I'll put some oil and hairspray in in a second. But first of all, Let's try and remove these. I'm just pulling it away with my little finger. Oh, this is so weird. It's actually coming off easier than I thought. I was worried that it was going to like pull out my brows, like little brow hairs, but it hasn't at all. I'm impressed with that. It's definitely like stained. Let me remove this side first. It's definitely like stained my skin. Whether or not it lasts we for three days like it claims to, we'll, we will see. I think I need to put a slightly thicker layer on. Maybe, I don't know. Obviously, practice makes perfect. So the more I play around with this product, I'm sure the better I'll get at it. And the more 
easier I'll find to apply it as well as um, you know finding out how much I actually need and everything like that. So that's done the job colour wise. I will say it's kind of a little bit warm toned. Not too much whereby I wouldn't ever wear it again but it is a little more warm tone than I prefer. I am just gonna use my Benefit Gimme Brow to just set the brow hairs actually in place. I'll be able to like update you over the weekend, but I, I like that. I think it's left a good shape considering how much time and effort you can spend on getting the perfect shape to your eyebrows with such a thick wand i thought it was going to be really hard to apply but it's actually not so bad so there you go there's a little mini review on the maybelline's brow tattoo and i will keep you posted on the results i am going to go and work from booze and then i'm not sure what's happening later tom's working very late at the minute this week because he's refurbing his bar so um he's been there like last night he didn't get home till like half one the night before that it was about half ten night before that half nine so it's probably going to be another late night again tonight um but i might go and join him for some food back home for you guys it was a split second you saw me but it's been a while i have been doing a lot of editing i've edited sunday's video so i tried to change things up a bit make it a bit more like edited, put a bit of a filter on it. So hopefully you guys like it. To be honest, you probably won't notice, but I've been spending a lot of time today like learning more about camera work and editing and everything like that. Woo, I'm bright. So I am back and I thought I would show you these couple of bits that I was going to show you earlier, uh, but didn't get around to it. Update on the brows, by the way, they're lasting quite well, so thumbs up. And then from, Urban Outfitters. I'm quite liking Urban Outfitters at the minute. It's just, it's hard to find a good bargain in there, you know, because things are not pricey, but they are like pricey. <laughs> um, anyway, I've had my eyes on these for a while. I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I wanted to pick up these little crop tops. I had white and black and I wasn't sure which one to go for, but I thought with it being summer coming up and everything, I'm probably wearing more whites and nudes. So I picked up the white one. These are £12 full price. I wish they did a nude because I'd quite like to get my hands on one of them. And then I also picked up these from Pound World because Poundland have stopped stocking these crop tops that I love. The only reason why I um, picked up the Urban one over this one is just because it's a lit. I don't really want to show you, but it's a little bit sheer and it's also got this thing here so it does kind of look a little bit more like a bra but i wear them every day so i picked up some more from pound world which are now two pounds instead of a pound which is kind of annoying i'd say the last three or four times i've been into a pound land i've not been able to find them so picked these up went for a white black and nude and then i also picked up this from pound the world which i thought was quite cute it was two pounds because pound world is always like completely differently priced if that makes sense at least pound land most of the stuff is a pound but anyway pick this up for two pounds and it's kind of like speckled if you can see like a little speckled mug with a little fake plant in the top and i just thought that was a cute little home accessory so i picked that up i also picked up a staple lasting perfection concealer they've got a new shade well i don't know how new it is it's the first time i've seen it but i always get fair which is number one and i noticed they had a zero which is really fair or really light or something i swatched them and this one just the fair which i always get just kind of suited my skin tone just that little bit more so I did stick with this one and then this I am obsessed with so when we went to Manchester we had like a girly night away I vlogged it a couple of weeks ago and Mel introduced us to this which is the glow getter instant sunkiss bronzing spray for legs and body by soap and glory it's incredible so I had to pick myself one up I think they're about 10 pounds but they are amazing and then i've also got a package so i thought i would open it up now i did have a quick peek earlier 
and this company did get in touch and wanted to send me this so they are kindly sponsoring this section of the video they are some v24 gummies and i will leave the links down below to where you can buy these yourself and a link to their website but essentially i just want to sort of like introduce you to this concept because it's not something i'd usually go for but i thought i would try them out seeing as though i'm doing like the five two diet at the minute they are delicious sugar-free 60 strawberry flavored gummies you take four gummies three times daily now these also have glue i don't know how you pronounce this glucomannan i think it's how you pronounce it it's been scientifically proven to contribute to weight loss so the beneficial effect is obtained with a daily intake of three grams of glucoman and three doses of one gram each together with one or two glasses of water before meals and in the context of an energy restricted diet so i'm going to try these out i'll try one now just for reference to oh gosh to sort of explain to you how they oh i can smell them they smell incredible they smell like sweets. That is what they look like. So they're very bright. Mmm. They are good. They are literally just like gummy sweets. In a strawberry flavour. That's that's all they taste like. So I'm going to try these out. I'll let you know how I go with them. I'm still like allowing myself the treats every once in a while. Like tonight we're going to the bar. Tom's... um been refurbing his bar at the minute so i'm gonna go down and check it out he has incorporated more plants which i recommended and i've seen a little picture but i'm looking forward to having a look tonight and i think we'll go try some food moving on to in the style i got i think it's one set they did gift me this so i said that i would show you guys what i picked up and I'll leave a link to it below if you want to have a look at it yourself. But it is a two-piece set. And the top is like a crop top. And then the bottoms are like wide leg pants. Which are my favourite kind of two-piece set. It's like the most flattering on me. My battery's flashing. This is what the top looks like. Wide leg pants all the way to the floor in that same uh, material. I've got these in a size 10 and the top in an 8. So thank you so much for sending me them and along with those gummies as well I'll update you on my progress with them and as for now I'm gonna sign off put my battery on charge and see you in a bit. Ooh, sun's out so we've got the windows open. We're heading to the bar now. I'm gonna help you finish the refurb before tonight. I'm gonna grab some food in a bit and then you said you're off to Nottingham. Oh that's good. You have to get up super early. But yeah, off for some food. We're shopping for bar stock. Three baskets, I think we need one more. I've got Tom onto these seagrass baskets. You like them now, don't you? Yeah, that's quite cute. Could I make that work? I like them. I'm on the shop for bar though, not for me. Go on, Mr. Muscle. <laughs> Big thumbs up. There you thank go. you. Anything else you need? That's it, thank you. And this is the upstairs. Photo booth there. And then this wallpaper, or this wall effect, I love. You see the flecks of gold. How does this car steer itself? It's mental, see what that? The Sorry. Oh, I'm not doing very well now. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> mode. Be on a straight. That is unreal. Takes control and state keeps you in the lane by moving the wheel. See? That's scary. <laughs> I bet it can't park and come off and. You can't park. Hey, I can actually. Good morning, today I am off to watch Tom play cricket. I was just sort of getting ready watching Gogglebox in the background. I just wanted to give you an update also on this Maybelline Tattoo Brow. I have filled in my brows with one of my favourite Benefits Co Brow this morning. Um, it was still on my skin this morning when I woke up, even after having taken off all my makeup. However, it was very warm toned, so I think the medium brown would actually be better for me if it's less warm toned, just because it was kind of a bit orangey. Uh, but it was still on, and it also wasn't as defined as it was yesterday, but it did last all day yesterday. So, 
Whether or not I repurchase, I doubt it. If they had a better colour choice, then maybe, but I'd also apply it at least maybe every day, every other day, just because I feel like three days, that's a bit of a strong claim. Also, I went to use this yesterday and noticed that it's not the product I thought it was. This is actually just like a spray on tan and that's not the product, which is fine, but it's not the product that I was thinking of which is all like shimmery and glitzy. So I'm going to have to go back to Boots and try and find the one that I was hoping to get. But I just wanted to point that out. I didn't want to like advertise something yesterday that is not actually the product that I was talking about. So if you do know the product that I'm talking about, it is like a shimmery very glitzy spray that you just spray all on and it, oh, it just leaves your skin looking gl so glowing it looks fab but that's definitely not the product that I was talking about so anyway I'm gonna head to booze now grab some breakfast and then I'm setting off with Tom's mum because he's already left and it's forecast to be quite nice this bank holiday weekend so hopefully today and tomorrow will be lovely here's playing again tomorrow but I'm gonna see weather dependent just I don't know and plans just to see what I'm up to because I cricket is an all-day commitment and when I'm carless I'm having to rely on someone else so it's not like I can go and just watch like a couple of hours or whatever I have to go for the full day so if the sun's out and I'm not doing anything then I'll go tomorrow as well but I'm definitely gonna go today because I have no plans and I might walk into Clitheroe whilst I'm there and have a browse around some of the charity shops <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing because it might be interesting to some of you. I am, um, I'm trying to remove or get rid, this one's fallen off, but the rest of them. This is gel polish, which I had done a while ago and it just needs redoing really. So I've ordered some more online and um, so I'm just taking off this one. And what I'm doing first of all is just getting like these emery boards, which are just cheap, but they're quite harsh and just filing across the top just to like remove the top layer. And then I've got this Sensationale gel polish remover which is like 98% acetone. And then I have these nail moisturizing nail polish remover pads from Boots. It's kind of more, I'm using these, but I'm gonna soak them in acetone. Put them on after I've filed off the top layer and then like keep filing. So hopefully that will remove them. Oh, and whilst I'm doing that, I'm just catching up on um, Love Island season one, which is on Netflix, which is like really old school. It's the uh, season before Nathan and Kara. So that is what I'm watching. Whilst doing my nails. Okay, we're almost there now, but I just thought I'd show you my next stage, which will be, so I've got this DND Daisy top and base gel. So I'm gonna put on the base gel. Then I've got this little UV or LED lamp from Sensational. This set itself, I wouldn't recommend getting, to be completely honest with you, but I'm gonna try out this UV lamp. And then I'm gonna put on this Essie nail polish, which is in, I don't know if it's got a name, oh, Clothing optional is what it's called. It's a nice like kind of mauve color And then I'm going to use this Leighton Denny Miracle Mist Speed Drying Spray because that's not a gel polish that Essie But then I am going to put a layer of the top gel on Under the UV lamps and hopefully they'll last a while so we will see Last update and it's a success So I did like kind of cut my nails down a little bit just because they were getting a bit too long I wear contact lenses and it can be kind of awkward with long nails so back to being like natural and I really, to be fair, this color's darker than I thought it was gonna be. It's quite like a dark mauve. Uh, I did two layers and this is how it turned out. So just heading into Clitheroe now. I've just watched Tom play cricket for a bit and this weather is pretty special. So yeah, I thought I'd just have a wander into the town center have a look, see what they've got, and then head back and watch the cricket in this gorgeous sunshine. a lovely 
little shop. I got one thing, which I'll show you later from a charity shop. But I'm definitely coming back here for another charity shop video because there are some pretty good charity shops. And then now back to finish watching cricket. Watch my man hopefully win. The stun, the stun is still shining. The sun is still shining. Not a win today. We caught the sun, and uh, back again tomorrow. Coming down the Charlotte and Even though I'm not really done much all day, I feel that in the sun all day I'm exhausted. But we've just got home and we've got da 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 pizza. Tom's judging it up as always. I just like plain old simple. Actually, that for me is fairly judged up. It's hurt his shoulder. Yeah, because usually I just go for margarita. Oh, it's all going wrong, Tommy Lord. <laughs> What's that all about? Right, I'm gonna enjoy my pizza now and get into comfies, watch Britain's Got Talent, and probably go to bed. <laughs> Good morning, happy bank holiday weekend. It is Sunday today, and I look a bit weird without my lips on, so I'm gonna just put them on. I use, by the way, like on a regular daily basis, the number seven nude lip liner and the Clarins lip oil. Whenever in boots you get those number seven makeup like vouchers, I highly recommend you try this lip liner and just try it out because honestly, it for me it's like the perfect nude. I've always used it and that's how I found it. I just had a voucher and I thought, oh, I'm looking for a new lip like new nude lip liner this was years ago as well and uh, i've had it in my collection ever since and use it on a daily basis everybody's skin tone is different but for me it's like literally the perfect nude and i use this lip oil in either honey or honey glam and it's my fave especially for like summer when you just want to be glowy and then finish off with next dewy finish setting spray Plenty of that because I'm going to be out at cricket all day today in the sun. So I did use an SPF uh, BB cream, which is the Clarins uh, Skin Detox Fluid BB cream, and that is my finished, ready, ready, finished look of the day. I am going to go grab a sandwich. I think from Booze. It's well, I say sandwich. It's already 11:21. Oh shoot, I need to hurry up. Tom's mum's coming to pick me up at 12. We're gonna go together because I'm still carless. We had such a good day yesterday, but it was so hot. I was in white jeans and just like a little t-shirt, but jeans were just too much. So I've gone for a dress today. This one is from Primark. You might have seen it in my latest Primark haul. And then I'm also gonna be wearing these shoes, which are the Ipanama Phillips Stark collab, which I went to the event, obviously, which you'll have seen. And yeah, in fact, it was in last week's vlog. So if you didn't see it, then go watch last week's vlog. And I'm also going to take, oh gosh, I'm in all Primark today. Um, this Primark cover just to cover up in the evening when it gets a bit cooler. If the, you know, if you know cricket, you know it can go on for hours. And it can sometimes finish like 7, 8, even a bit later, 9 p.m by the time we've had a drink and everything. So by that time, it will be a bit cooler. So I will take this just to have for then. I also might be going into Clitheroe with a couple of the cricket, other cricket boys' girlfriends. So we might have like a coffee in town or lunch in town or something and have a wander up um, because it's walking distance from the cricket ground, which is lovely. As you'll have seen, I did that yesterday as well. I did get something from a charity shop yesterday, but I can't show it to you because it's in Tom's car. So I might have to do another couple of charity shop trips and then maybe turn it into another video because I know you guys loved the last one. Uh, but as for now, breakfast time, off to cricket and another joyous day in the sun on this bank holiday weekend. It's so nice when the sun's out, especially for a bank holiday weekend. So 
So technically it's Monday morning because I'm coming in from a night out. Had a fab night, we ended up having all day at the cricket and then, yeah, we had a few drinks. Sun was out, sun shining, it's bank holiday weekend. So I'm back home now, Tom is still out with the boys. I actually haven't seen him tonight. Me and um, another girl went out and did our own thing and we haven't even bumped into them, but it is now, what time is it? 2.24 and I'm going to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. I'm actually very proud of myself for remembering to finish it on time or when I should, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and hit the big thumbs up, like button, whatever you do, notification bell, something or other. I don't know how it works now, but um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye guys.